Hello, Michael. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can't see you on video. I can't. Oh, no, there you are. There you are. <laughs> That's very good. How are you doing? Oh, okay. Very nice. Having lunch? Okay. Ah. Well, uh, actually, uh, I I just skipped the lunch because I, I feel like I don't have time for that right now. I really want to do this. I really want to talk to you, and you know, uh, now that I have a chance, because I know that you're really busy too these these days, right? Yeah. Can Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now, like uh, these days? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh huh. Well, I, I I was actually. Sorry, just go ahead. I think that's a very good strategy that you're pointing out right here because that is exactly the same thing that I'm doing right now is that I'm I'm promoting the the convention here in the, in Munich in September and what I'm going to talk to my friend about today um like I just inform you uh is about the event like I want him to come with me to the event and uh, I want him to become my my brand partner and and there are some several people who I want to talk to to them about these issues that um, they should join right now and then in 90 days they will come with me to the convention and then we'll start up a business together so is is this what you're doing right now is this what your your strategy is right now oh it totally Oh yeah, I hear you. But Okay, well it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, you I think you're right about that. Absolutely. There is a convention right now. Yeah. So, do you think it's a good idea for me to go out there right now just like to tell my friends and my my prospects about um you know the the, the travel trip to Munich and try to promote and try to convince them through the the big event that is going to be in September. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, absolutely. Hmm. Okay. 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 So what you're saying is that first I should start to uh, try to establish a um, personal relationship. You're right. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mhm. Mm Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I think I think that's a very good approach for how to talk to people, how to convince people. But but I I think it's also very important to think about uh, our target group here. Like you know you you gotta have a deep target group within the segment that we are in, because who, the people who I'm gonna be talking to are mostly students, international students in Denmark. And uh, we, I gotta find these specific target groups within the segment, right? We we can't go and talk to everybody because that will be quite a waste a waste of time. Yes. So so I I really had to consider what interests them. You know, what is the most relevant for these people? What what is it that they will be passionate about? And maybe try to use that when I find out what is it that they they're interested in. What is what what is their struggles? What are their challenges in life, you know, in general? So when 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 I know that, then I think that I'll be able to utilize the strategy uh, in a more specific uh, problem-solving um, solution for these people. And today I'm going to be talking to. He's actually one of my friends, but I haven't been knowing him for for um, for many years. Um, I've only known him for for one year, 
and he used to run this student bar um, like we, we had an academy and there was this bar at the academy and he started this bar up and, and it became really popular so you know everybody came there every Friday night and hang out there <clears throat> having a, like a really good social uh, aspects within the academy and um, one day the director of the academy Academy came in, and uh, he he actually excluded this guy who founded the bar at the academy. You know, he excluded him from the bar and made somebody else took over with with without any reason. So this guy is very hurt right now, and I'm thinking, well, uh, you know, he ran this bar and he was very good at it, and a lot of people joined him, and a lot of people supported that bar. And um, now he has almost nothing to do, and uh, he's actually started his own web shop and doing some uh, some uh, flea market, you know, where he sells like. Sorry, second. I think that he's around. He's a little bit older than me. I think he's around thirty-five or something. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mhm. Mm mm. Yes, absolutely. Mhm. Yes. You're right. And I'm I'm thinking exactly the same like you're doing right now. What you're saying right now is that I'm I'm thinking like you know I'm very excited about all the people that he knows at the academy and outside of the academy. So my approach is that uh, I might going to be asking him if he know people who can, he can be uh, you know teaming up with uh, within this business. If he like know people who he can sell to, become his customers. Uh, or uh, you know people who he's already doing business with, uh, selling to, or just people that he hangs out with that he really trusts, that he uh, can run this business with. I think that that is the best approach because I know his story and I know where what what his struggles are right now. Hmm. Mm. Yes. 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 That's a very very good idea. Uh Michael, I'm actually recording this thing, but I I don't know if I'm going to be using this uh, recording, but I'm just recording this as a video right now so that I can go back and you know and, and, and take a look at that, you know, try to. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to go to Thailand. Uh, I'm, I'm going to postpone my travel to Thailand and then I'm going to go to London uh, in, in, uh, in August. In the beginning of August, I'm going to go to London. And uh, I'm going to be handing in my my thesis for the academy for my school thesis, uh, and then go to the exam. So Thailand has to wait a little, and then I will go to uh, Munich for the convention instead. Yes. So I had quite I quite had to reprioritize everything right now because I really want to get this up running. I'm so excited about this business, you know. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Mm. 
嗯，哇哦，哇哦。Yeah. Every day, there are new people all the time, and they're looking for jobs everywhere. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Mm. Well, I I can tell you this, Michael, that you know, in the coming time here, uh, in in in. The coming season of business that I'm walking into right now, I'm looking into a lot of aspects within business. You know, it's not only about having a great product and having a great company to supply the products, and it's it's not only about having a, a big network that I can sell to or who can help me to make an income, but I'm also looking into the aspects of uh, you know training education of the network. And providing them what they actually need to succeed, it. and that includes, uh, you know, training platform. Um, we, I'm, I'm gonna be looking into that right now, like an online platform where they can log into, and they can go through each uh, training, and you know, they can go back and forth and try to, you know, um, we, we're gonna, we're gonna give them the strategy to succeed, uh, like specific strategy, step by step. Action plan, how to do it, and uh, also uh, we're gonna be like uh, coaching in uh, motivation, uh, coaching in um, you know success, passion, uh, everything, everything that we need to become an entrepreneur that I've experienced in my life. I'm gonna be giving that away for free for my team to succeed. So. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, uh, another really, um, a really important tool is also, you know, all the online tools. You can have all the training, all the knowledge, and all the education, but if, if you can't implement anything, you know, if you cannot uh, go out there and try to Practice what you've learned from the theoretical point of view into the practical point of view. Um, then, then it's quite quite worthless. So, what I'm going to do for all my team members in the future uh, is also that I'm going to give them uh, a website and I'm going to give them a training in how to build their own uh, web platform. So they're going to be able to copy what I'm actually doing so that they can go out there and they can build their own organization, their own team members, and recruiting a lot of people in from their own platform that they're going to be controlling by themselves. No, no. That's right. Yes, you're right. I'm 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 bringing in quality people. I'm not bringing in a lot, a big quantity. You know, um, quality is better is than quantity. Hmm.
No. That's right. That's right. We're helping our team members to build a business here. When, and, and, and we don't want them to buy the products if they're not going to be able to succeed. That's my, uh, you know, men mentality. That's my mindset. That's my philosophy. Like, I don't want them just to use the product and not be able to gain anything with that. They have to have some kind of a success rate that they want to gain, that they want to achieve from that. You know, whatever that is, like, you know, get getting a, uh, a more healthy life or losing weight or whatever it is. I, I could go out and I could sell to to anybody. I can go on the streets right now and I could sell to some strangers passing by on the street, but I don't want to do that. I I really want to help some people right here, and that's I think that's the most of um, all the team members should be aware of that. You know, don't just sell the products, um, just but try to try to help people instead. This is the business that we 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 in. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. You're right. Yes. You're right. And you know what's going to happen from that? You know, the, the, the effects of that, the consequence of people just selling and don't care about who they are selling to is that uh, we're going to have some really bad reputation about, you know, the claims that we are doing within BIMA. The claims that, oh, you're going to be able to make money if you buy this silver packet or gold packet. And sometimes people can actually feel like they are being forced to buy the products from Vima. And that, that's, I think that's the danger about it because from, from what I see is that uh, the more time people spend on selling to, um, to yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking like, the more time we we spend selling to a uh, non brand partner means that uh, you know strangers that don't even know how to do a business or don't even have uh, are used for the product they don't know what to use the product for right they are going to quit and they're going to say bad things about Vima they're going to say bad things about you uh, and other team members and I experienced that from some days ago, you know, where I sent you the link for that article about uh, this guy who didn't succeed. And I know exactly why he didn't succeed. He wasn't able to do any business. He didn't study any network marketing theories. Uh, he didn't know how to sell or get customers. So, of course, he's going to say bad things about the products. And, and that's the danger about the YPR uh, people just selling to strangers. Okay. Yes. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes. You're right. Mm. Yes. Mm. 
Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes, you I think you're right. It it it, it I can tell you when I first started to look at the network marketing industry, it was 10 years ago. And I've never been more on fire. You know, 10 years ago, I didn't know what it was. And, you know, years passed by. And I just, I, I was just uh, observating from the sideline what was going on. And um, I, from that point, I didn't learn anything. You know, from observation point of view, I didn't learn anything because I wasn't into it. You know, like uh, you can watch football and you can watch ice hockey and everything. But if you don't play it, if you don't play the game, then you don't gain anything from that. Or, you know, you can watch people uh, building up their muscles every day or people who are trying to become smarter, reading books and stuff like that. But if you're just sitting and you're just watching these people reading books, you're not going to gain anything from that. You're not going to become smarter than that. So from what I realized is that, you know, 10 years passed by and uh, I could have done a lot from these times. But now that I'm into the game, that it just took me around, what, like uh, one year or something to gain the knowledge that I have right now about network marketing industry. And, and from what I'm doing today, I can tell you that uh, my thesis, it's going to be about Vima. Uh, company and network marketing industry you know uh, my academic thesis yeah the school and I'm gonna go to ex I'm gonna go to the exam about that and I'm gonna be uh, talking to my uh, exam inspector and my uh, supervisor about uh, this project really soon um, also analyzing of the Vima company and you know, the value chains aspects, uh, how, how Vima is creating values and giving out strategies within my report and also talking about how to start up a strategic business unit. So that's very, very exciting right now for me because absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And they can follow that, they can follow everything, the strategy and everything. And um, I'm going to be able to give this ma manual to all the international students out there who's going to be want to write about the project that they can actually make money from. You know, it's not going to be like uh, working for like one company, multinational company, and they're not going to gain anything from that. Maybe they're going to get like a, a small job here and there within, within the small project that they do uh, within this um, thesis. But I'm going to be writing about how they actually can make money from writing a thesis for Vima. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay. That's wonderful. Okay.
Yes. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's wonderful. That's amazing. Wow. And that, I feel like I didn't do anything from, you know, from the day that I started to join Lima, I didn't really do anything. I just keep doing what I'm doing, you know, just uh, just writing blogs and doing some videos, uh, just having fun. I'm, that's, this is amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. So how do you plan to follow up with this guy? Uh-huh. That's wonderful. Okay. Okay. Um Okay. Wow. <laughs> I uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. <laughs> of course <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, could you do that if you wanted to? Like, could you just send him over and just, uh, you know, work so so that he could work for you? Yes. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I want to, yes. Hmm. I think that everything has to be in balance, you know, going online and then going offline with the people that you, you bring in, in, in through your platform. English. I'm bitching. <laughs> kind of a steams. <laughs> I said the same, I said the same. I actually quit my German class because I didn't want it. Because I probably know that I'm probably gonna fail the class, so I, I quit it. But yeah, now I understand. You never know what future is gonna bring you, and it's the same thing about Vima. You never know. But if you know that if you work hard on it, and if you focus on what you do, then things are not going to be a coincidence. That success is going to be a result. You know, success is going to be a consequence that you're going to meet in a long run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> you missed. Mhm. Mm yes. Absolutely. Mm. Wow, okay. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> uh 
Uh, I think so. I, I I can't I can't remember which page I was on, but um, I think yeah I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, uh, the reason why I f I found you it was actually because of the, um, the YouTube videos that Dima has put out. I I think. And then I was searching on Google from that point. So er everything for me started on, on YouTube. And it was very impressive for me to watch the VIRP uh, radio. And and um, watching BK as a CEO doing all these video blocking and so on. So that is the leadership that I'm actually looking at when, when we're talking about leadership in my point of view. And also... You know, from from my point of view, uh, you are like my my body, that the one that I'm in contact with, and the one that I'm also seeking knowledge from. You know, every time that I have a a challenge or uh, some doubt or whatever that I meet in in my business um, challenges and obstacles, then I go to you. So you're like my coach, some kind of thing. Absolutely, you know, yes. Thank you. But I, I see ours as, um, you know, having a flat organization that uh, we're on the same level. And you, you've been there longer than me, and that, that is the difference between you and me, is that you've talked to more people and you've been there for longer uh, time or period. No. Yes. Yes. It is. Absolutely. The the only thing that I always keep in my mind within the online strategy is that how I can attract prospects, how I can attract people to come into my organization. Um, I think that most of it is about uh, Google optimization. Yeah, the CMS system, I think it's WordPress. Yes. Yes. And and, and I'm, I'm using the same thing right now. Uh, I'm using WordPress right now. And um, another thing is that, you know, like, you, you can have all the content that you need, but you also need some technical uh, knowledge about how you can optimize your content to go to rank very high on Google and and that is actually what we're all trying to do here is it's to getting a lot of traffic from Google as much as possible because we know that when people go into Google they're gonna type in specific types of keywords and um, uh, hey that's a very good idea I'm gonna actually do a uh, um, Google research video and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out so that you can you know watch it and, and learn something from that I think that that's very uh, good strategy and good training sorry Sagan absolutely yes how to do Google research and how to optimize your content so that people uh, visitors on the internet uh, can easily find you from Google. But mm -hmm.
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there there are a lot of strategies and a lot of different ways to approach into this business and the online uh, strategy is definitely one of the most easiest way because because um when you utilize this types of strategy it involves a lot of technology but it also involves a lot of uh, social uh, competences uh, social skills uh, you got to be able to follow up on your uh, on uh, on your prospects but to to make them come to you you got to be able to deliver something that they need or something that they want it's almost you know almost uh, all the time uh, that we spend on google optimization is to look into our target group and try to think about uh, what is it that they need what kind of problems do they have and what kind of solutions can we give them and that is that is the basic of search engine optimization. So, um, Michael, it's uh, I'm very excited about talking to you about all these things, but uh, the time is running out. This video right here, yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make it as a video, and then I'm gonna post it up on uh, on YouTube, and then I'm gonna send you a link to that. I think that's the only way we can send videos to each other or else we got to have some kind of a Dropbox or something. Oh. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um Absolutely, but you know, Michael, um, I, I I think that it's very also important that uh, people see me as an expert within the field that I'm in. You know, network marketing and and you know, the more content I put out, uh, the easier it's going to be for people to find me on the internet. So, like, I I can do a lot of stuff on my videos. I can put up a, a link so that. People can uh, search for me, or yes, it's going to be some kind of a content. But I, I totally understand. It, it should have some kind of a, some kind of a signature that people know where it comes from. Absolutely. But Absolutely. I'm going to be fire up right now. I'm I'm on fire right now because I just talked to you and because I'm I'm just drinking a verb right here. But <laughs> I'm going to be seeing him in about uh, 1 hour. So uh I hope that uh, the fire and the passion is going to be there for that time. It definitely will. So Yes. Yes. That will be that will be awesome. And I would love to invite you here to come to Denmark. Um Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll plan for that. We'll plan for that. We we'll go out and we'll have fun at the same time. We we'll go out to like uh, you know concerts and uh, we we'll go to to the clubs and we'll see a lot of people. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we'll plan for that, and I hope that we'll do that at the end of August before we go to the convention because I I, I want you to try to convince my friends to go with me. On this convention.
Yes. Okay. That would be great. Awesome. Thank you very much, Michael, and you too. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll do that. And I'll send you the video also. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.